The best way to play video games in the bathroom is the Nintendo Switch with its incredible selection of racing games. As a portable console, the Switch often features remakes and re-releases of classic racing games, but that doesn't mean they're not worth your attention. So in this video are the 19 best racing games on the Nintendo Switch. With over 100 cars and more than 25 different racing venues set over 5 distinct disciplines, as well as bonus DLC ones like Destruction Derby and Drag Racing, Grid Autosport is that rarest of beasts, a jack of all trades that doesn't sacrifice quality as a result. The addition of all previously released paid console DLC, right down to the cynical XP boost, is extremely welcome, although the complete removal of all local and online multiplayer features meant this was strictly solo affair at launch. Pleasingly, developer Feral Interactive has since patched in local multiplayer and online multiplayer. Even without that feature, though, this was still one of the best racing games on Switch. Now it's easily the best sim-style drive in Switch's garage. Burnout is one of the racing series known for its high-octane treks through crowded urban streets rather than taking place on an isolated track. Burnout Paradise took this to the next level, with its open-world city filled to the brim with races, crashes, and secrets to find. Burnout Paradise Remastered is available on the Switch, and the style of play it sets up of driving around in the open world or taking part in a quick race perfectly complements the Switch's portability. Best of all, the crashes are glorious. Hot Pursuit might be over a decade old now but the fact remains it's one of the high points of the entire Need for Speed series. In its remastered guise, this cops and robbers epic finds a comfy home on Nintendo's portable console where you can conduct the sort of car chases that Vin Diesel and his mates could only dream of. In an inspired move, Hot Pursuit allows you not only to play as a dastardly street racer but also a police officer whose idea of a proportionate and measured response is to rear-end the suspect in a Pagani Zonda. This faithful remaster of the fan-favorite Crash Team Racing was received extremely well by fans and critics upon its release, primarily because of how well the game retained the chaotic nature of the original and memorable characters while still adding plenty of new features to keep the experience fresh. Customizable carts, an extended adventure mode, and a brand new Ring Rally Challenge mode are all welcome additions that will keep the player occupied for many hours. It also needs to be mentioned that Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is nowhere near as generous in terms of its items compared to other kart racers meaning that players won't be bailed out for falling behind in a race. While this ramps up the difficulty, it also makes the game feel much more skill-based and extremely rewarding when players manage to secure that first place position. Fast RMX is as good as the Wii U original and then some. Updated visuals, more tracks, more vehicles, it was an utterly outstanding launch title for the Switch and it holds up very well to this day keeping the futuristic high-speed racing game alive in the absence of F-Zero. It's not quite the same, of course, but with the console's ability to allow multiplayer on the go rolled in, this is without doubt essential for racing fans with a Switch. Remember those crude 8-bit racers that tried to convince you that you were driving straight ahead in a 3D space? Most likely not, but either way, this indie arcade racer by Aquirus will likely blow your hair back with fun 80s nostalgia anyway. The game is a faithful homage to 2D racers of yesteryear while giving the aesthetic a modern polish of crisper, more vibrant visuals. The flat, blocky visual style is something of a cover, as Horizon is loaded with content. Dozens of unique, rapid-fire stages, distinct cars, and even the underappreciated split-screen multiplayer round out this gripping racer. Oh, and in typical retro fashion, the AI racers can be shockingly brutal. No racing game has been as fun for me and my group of friends in recent years as Wreckfest, and the Switch version of Bugbear's Demolition Fuel Racer maintains everything console and PC players have enjoyed for years. The frame rate is capped at 30 frames per second, but it's consistent, and the physics still strike that perfect balance between being easy to pick up but challenging to master, particularly if you forego assists like traction control. Wreckfest is a blast, and if you haven't played it yet the Switch version is a fine way to dip your toes in. Word of warning, though, there's unfortunately no cross-play multiplayer with your friends on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. If you love your games to use old-school vibes, then you'll probably find yourself drawn toward Inertial Drift, a fantastic arcade racer with some fun mechanics surrounding, you guessed it, drifting. Even better, it can be great for beginners too. With plenty of cars and tracks to choose from, you'll be able to race through the game by yourself or up against your friends in multiplayer. If you want a racing game that is challengingly distinct, yet also somewhat familiar, give Inertial Drift a shot. The best part is, the game is often discounted on the Switch shop, and it's already not as expensive as many other games in the same genre. It could benefit from some more tracks, as well as more environments, but Mantis Burn Racing offers simple-to-play racing entertainment across a range of events. 
Regular racing is fun, but so are the other events, particularly the battle ones as you race around trying to outrun the hail of bullets or perhaps purposely drop behind to take out your tormentor. As enjoyable as these modes are in single player, they work even better against other people and on Switch there are a number of ways to get your multiplayer fix. If you're looking for some more multiplayer racing action then Mantis Burn Racing is an excellent choice, and yet another must-have title for Nintendo's hybrid console. While the Sonic All-Stars racing games did not end up making their way to the Switch, fans were still treated to a pleasant surprise when it was announced that Team Sonic Racing was going to be launching on the system in 2019. While the game's visuals hold up incredibly well on the Switch, it really is the team-based gameplay mechanics that help this thrilling racer stand out from its competition. For example, players can leave behind a slipstream while driving, which will boost their companion's speed, and there are even small dialogue prompts between each character letting the team know where they currently are positioned in the race. When it comes to co-op racing games, there aren't many games out there that can compete with Team Sonic Racing, and with 21 tracks to explore, it's a fairly lengthy ride that is enjoyable from start to finish. If you feel like the problem with modern racing games is that there are too few Tyrannosaurs, then Cruis and Blast is absolutely the game for you. An arcade racer in the very literal sense of the word, it debuted in video game arcades back in 2017. This Nintendo Switch conversion is just as colorful, over the top and noisy as you'd expect from a game that's used to actively competing for your pound coins. If they held an F1 race in the middle of a warehouse rave on the island from Jurassic Park, this is roughly what it would look like. If you'd prefer a less stressful and more classically visually appealing racer, you will probably be a fan of Art of Rally. The game looks simple on the surface, but it's a blast of an experience whether playing through the campaign or just roaming around. This is far from the greatest version of this game, but for those who only have a Switch, Art of Rally is a great game to give a try. Go do some stylish races, unlock some cars, and make your way through the fun career experience, all for a price that is lower than many other titles. The king of the karting genre, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the ultimate, friendship-jeopardizing multiplayer game. After nearly 30 years, the in-game back and forth is as finely balanced as an Olympic gymnast and the track design is absolutely spectacular as you swoop and loop through the cartoonish world of video gaming's least likely icon. Plus the inclusion of online play means that you'll still be able to find competition even when all your mates refuse to play with you after yet another blue shell incident. Grip! Combat racing makes a great fit for Switch with its frantic, pick-up-and-play style and undiluted arcade gameplay. While a spiritual successor to the even lesser-known role case, Studio Caged Element makes this chaotic combat formula its own. The game brings a satisfying array of weapons, power-ups, and double-sided vehicles that can ride 360 degrees and flip about. Grip offers solid multiplayer, online and four-player split-screen, which hosts intense, F-Zero-style elimination races and a combat-centric arena. What's more, Grip can often be found heavily discounted, making this romp all the more worth the ride. If the look of hotshot racing appeals to you and you can appreciate the aesthetic delights of something that looks deliberately lo-fi and polygonal, the action it offers on the track does an excellent job of backing up the game style with substance. It may have its quirks and it may turn you into a paranoid conspiracy theorist ready to tell tales of rubber banding to anyone who'll listen to you, but hey, that just adds to the authenticity of the era it's based on. This is a fine racing title that truly nails its driving mechanics and delivers an exhilarating experience that will captivate newcomers and veterans alike. There is a phenomenon on the Nintendo Switch in which mobile games are ported over. Most of these games are better played on your phone, but Asphalt 9, Legends is a fully-fledged game and is worth downloading on the console. Not only does it have realistic graphics, but there is online multiplayer, a huge selection of cars and tracks, and, best of all, a comprehensive career mode to play through. Scratch that, the best part is that it's 100% free to play. Not a fan of simulators? Let's get back to something lighter and smaller. In Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, turbocharged, gamers of all ages can play around with the famous toys. As it has a split-screen mode for two players and local multiplayer that supports up to 12 racing fans, it's a perfect choice for gaming sessions with the entire family. If you love the idea of tiny cars racing around gardens, museums, and golf courses, HWU2 should be right up your alley. It even has a track editor, allowing you to build the craziest levels possible. Unleash your creativity and reach top speed in one of the top Nintendo Switch racing games on the market. To describe Trials Rising in one word is impossible. Like all the games in the Trials series, this 2.5D racing puzzle platformer is one of the most unique takes on the racing genre. Trials Rising does not take place along a 3D space. Instead, it's a side-scrolling platform of sorts, where you're more focused on not falling over than anything. 
you control your torque and whether you lean forward or backward. Using this, you have to ride your motorbike over strange objects and over tremendously dangerous environments. Throw in some multiplayer functionality, and all of this combines to make for both the slowest and most intense racing experience you can get. It may not be the type of game that comes to mind when you think racing, but it should be. Normally the goal of playing video games is to plant yourself on the sofa and then not move for several hours, unless it's to reach for the bag of tortilla chips. That's not an option with Mario Kart Home Circuit, which has you arranging cardboard gates in a circuit around your living room and driving a Bluetooth-controlled cart with a camera bolted to the top using your Switch. It's remarkably effective, populating your once familiar home with augmented reality opponents. The only problem is you'll need quite a lot of space. Time for Grandma's favorite chair to go. So. Did you like the games I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. Thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye.